Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I've been saying this for uh, about eight months now uh, that the Ukrainians will attack Moscow with missiles eventually, or with uh, those so-called Soviet-era uh, supersonic drones that they used in December to attack the Engels and not only a military airfield deep inside Russia. Now, the Ukrainians are, I think, covering, uh, trying to camouflage uh, receiving all these uh, long-range missiles from Great Britain, France, and in the future, United States of America, and are about to get it from the Germans, which I'm talking about Storm Shadows, I'm talking about Scalp missiles, I'm talking about Taurus, I'm talking by, uh, about ATA, MS, whatever, uh, the American ones. Uh, I have here about five articles and uh, some, actually I have about seven or eight articles ready with specifications about the missiles the Ukrainians will receive. And the point here is this, the Ukrainians came out with this statement. We are going to develop our own long range missile that will be probably able to destroy <clears throat> deep inside Russia. Why? Because when they will attack with missiles, and I think that's a gut feeling it will happen, will attack Moscow with missiles, not with the bzz 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 drones, they will uh, say, well, that's our domestically produced uh, long-range missiles that will be called, I don't know, kick-ass missiles or something. And it's not the Americans, French, great, uh, English, British, or uh, German. They will say, no, no, that's not it. It's ours. I think it's just camouflage. And the Russians can bark how much they want. It was a uh, American made. The Ukrainians will say, no, it was our domestically made. And the mass media here will obviously promote that idea uh, without any evidence. Uh, and a good example for that is the attack on the Kakovka dam, if you remember, on the Dnieper River. The Russians said, well, it was blown up by the, by the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians said, no, the Russians blew, up, blew it up. What did the Western media say? The Russians blew it up. No evidence. It's just what the Ukrainians said. But the other guy said, no, no they didn't care about that. You know, so we have here, I'm going to show you the first article that I made in uh, December 25th last year. Should Russia panic? I asked. Engels Air Base blown, Air Base blown up hundreds of miles inside Russia. This is too much. And in this one, I'm making the, the claim that they will hit Moscow in the future, if I remember correctly. If not, I know I made that on and on and on, this claim. And this was hit with a long range, uh, how do you call it? Um, not missile, it's this right here. Tupelov 2141. This is the one which uh, the Soviets created. Ukrainians have it, had it, I don't know how many more they have, and this can go to 1,000 uh, kilometer range. Where is that at? Right here. So range, it goes to 100 kilometers, that's 620 miles, this little thing here. And this was used to attack, you know, this right here. Ukraine strikes another air base showing vulnerability of defenses. This is on December 6, 2022. I think that's when I cover it. And they tell us this is the map, the Ukraine. Here is where they hit. This is how far they hit. And here as well. And one of them uh, stopped short of getting to Moscow. But they didn't uh, you know, mention it here. That was later probably from this article. So they hit this far with these little things here. And now they tell us. But let me show you here. They were talking about this one. Somewhere in the bottom here. They say, where is it? I think below, right here. They said that Air Engels airfield was hit by a Soviet Tupelov or 141 Street uh, drone, which is, as I said, this right here. Now they come, the Ukrainians are coming, and try to, you know, uh, use a smoke screen here telling us this. Ukraine is re-engineering a 36-foot-long Soviet-era missile system to strike inside Russia. Where do you think they want to strike? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. And this is the missile. They say they're engineered. And it's on the Ukrainian Soviet era S-200, 200 surface to air missile system to strike inside Russia. I can only imagine, right? Where? They say the weapons, which weighs, weighs 7.5 tons, is 36 feet long, is used for ground attacks. 
the UK Minister of Defense says, Russians, uh, Russia's airspace forces are likely facing pressure to improve its air defenses amid rising threats. Correct. So, and they tell us about this. This is the weapon also called the S-200 surface-to-air missile system with pop 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 Ukraine has retired the weapon from its air defense role and is now instead using it as a ground at attack ballistic missile, the department said. So it says that this little thing attacked already Bryansk Oblast in Russia, just north of the border of Ukraine. And they tell us that this, it says an S-200 can hit targets as far as 100 miles and as high, uh, and as high as 100, blah, blah, blah. doesn't really matter. So remember this number, 190 miles, because we're going to come back to, uh, to that. There's going to be a very, very interesting coincidence. All right. So now we go to this one. Reuters, Ukraine's foreign ministry asks U.S. for ATACMS long-range missiles. Remember that? Okay, what is it? what is this? This it has a range of what? <laughs> remember? And remember that one? And remember uh, this one right here? Well, it's just a coincidence, okay? Probably by by they say, well, we're not gonna do it. So they will uh, probably send this ATA CMS to Ukraine, which they will say, hey, wait a second, it's just this right here, the this one right here, the S two hundred, and we're gonna forget about this bad boy right here. Oh, it's okay, it's just a coincidence, I'm pretty sure. But let's go further. I look for French scalp missiles that are now in Ukraine. Now, scalp missiles is this, Storm Shadow, because this is was uh, designed by the French and the British. The British call it Storm Shadow, the French call it Scalp. Oh, well, let's see what is the distance this guy, right? How far can they hit? And we find operational range, 550 kilometers. This is 300 and, and nautical, no, this can be miles, right? So that's 550 kilometers. Let's make a little calculation and see how far um, Kiev is from Moscow. So you see the range, okay? Let's look for that one. Here it is. I just did from Kiev to Moscow, which is what? In straight line, correct? 755 kilometers. That's almost 469 miles. The problem is it's in straight line from Kiev. But they're not going to launch it from Kiev. Now I'm going to go to this map, right? So here you have Kiev, you have Moscow right there. So this is what was 500 and 700 and some, 755. So let's go back to this map. So 700 and from here to here, how much do you think is from here? I would say about 500. <laughs> so if they launch from here to there, Moscow is well within range. All right, let's move to something else. So we got the storm shadow thing here and the scalp, 550 kilometers. It's right within the range, but it's a coincidence, I'm pretty sure, okay? It's just a coincidence. And we're going to go to the next one. Germany in talks to send Taurus missiles to Ukraine. This is the uh, 11th of August, 2023. Uh, okay, F off, right? Yes. So they are talking about it. Let's see Taurus. Oh, Taurus is right here. What's your range, uh, baby doll? Well, operational range is more than 500 kilometers. Remember this one? Moscow here? Okay, now that we agree with that, we're going to go to Taurus, right? So the, how do you call them? The, um, the Germans are saying that they will modify the distance, the range. And the Ukrainians are mad about it or angry about it. Why? You need 500 kilometers? Da. That's exactly how far I need to strike. Uh, <laughs> sounds familiar? Now, I don't know. I don't have any facts because I don't, I'm don't. i not inside their weasel uh, heads over there. But my gut feeling uh, feelings tell me 99% with 99% certainty, right? Okay, that's a 99%. That these guys will attack. I think that will happen. They will attack Moscow. I'm waiting. And they will attack it with some missiles, missiles, and they will say that's ours. You say, wait, wait a second. They were just 190 kilometers. That's what they say. 
And then they will say, well, actually, it's better than that because we are geniuses. And uh, they still have those, uh, as I said, the Tupelo of 141 or whatever that was. I like those ones, to be honest with you. Yeah, 141. I like those ones. And remember, these were, were built in 1974 or something. Correct, down there. Nine, nine, 1974. And they have a uh, flight autonomy of a, a range range of about uh, 1,000 kilometers. There's way clear uh, Moscow is going to be hit. And I don't think the Ukrainians have only three or four of those. They will hit Moscow and they will say, it was not Storm Shadow, it was not Scalp, it was not uh, Taurus, it was not ATA CMSs, it was our own. The S-200, they ran now are all mm -mm -mm by uh -uh -uh, okay? I'm waiting. And when that's going to happen, when that's going to happen, you're going to see me here. Uh, reminding you about this video and uh, others okay but the problem is this you can't control what other do we you can control only what you can do so how will the russians uh, you know prevent this from happening i don't know my friends i don't know i don't know i think uh, the ukrainians will be successful at one point and now that it's going to destroy Putin and whomever of their Lavrov and Peskov, I haven't heard from Peskov in a long time. Uh, it's not about that. It's the capability, it's the psychological effect it's going to have on the Russians. Uh, strong Russians will uh, be angered, all right, and they will ask for something to go and solve the problem now and don't fuck around as they've been fucking around for one year and a half, I would say. And some of them will say, ah, my pussy hurts where is my safe space they have those kinds over there too and they will say stop all right this is what's gonna be my friends so the russians will probably have their own defenses over there ready and we'll see how effective they will be mark my words that will happen uh, i have a gut feeling and as i've been told by a certain segment of the society that gut feel uh, god gut feelings are as accurate as facts and evidence right? okay you thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just